Okay, so I got my onion and my ginger. I'm gonna turn the stove on about a medium high. Take this onion, pop it on. Oh, too high. One not too high of a heat. Otherwise, your ginger will, your onion will burn like mine. Then you take your ginger, and you try that too. You don't want to burn these. You you, you, you want to burn this. You want to char these until you can see the juice is coming out. That'll take a while. And that's it. Oh, skip. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my sink water on. Cold. Then I'm gonna take the onion and peel and the ginger and peel all of the black parts off. Rinse it under cold water. Same with the onions. Just so that part doesn't go in the stew. After you rinse, you can, after the water is off, you can use your knife and just scrape, scrape, scrape all that skin off. After you scrape all that skin off there, Scrape all the skin off the ginger. Okay, so now I have my poultry here. Uh, the measurements will be in the description. Then now I'm gonna take my charred, peeled onion. That goes in. Then my peeled ginger. That goes in too. And then now I'm gonna add some water. Again, measurements will be in the description. Fill that with water. And take a ladle, stir it all in. If it's not, if the water hasn't covered the chicken, add a little more. Add the water, and then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this to a boil, high heat. That what I'm gonna do is get one of these things and skim off all that scum. Once it comes to a boil, I'll show you what it looks like. It hasn't been to a boil yet, but I'm gonna skim off all the scum. Um, the scum is not good eating. So when you skim off the scum, you have to be careful not to stir it. Otherwise, the broth will become cloudy. So slowly skim off all that scum. And then usually I like to have a bowl of water next to me. And then I just put, dunk it in there and all the scum just comes right off. Just skim all the scum off the second it rises to a boil. I'm gonna turn it down to simmer and skim off all that scum for about an so hour. After 40 minutes, I took the drum, the drumsticks out. What I'm gonna do is take my knife. Ooh, it's hot. Take my knife, take off all that meat. Take off all the meat and all of them and return the bones back to the pot. Okay, so now I have deboned all the drums. I'm gonna toss that back into the pot and skim off all that scum. This is gonna go for about another 20 minutes and then and then it's basically done. It's been an hour, I just took my Cornish hen out. And then I'm gonna get my knife. That right, this part right there I'm gonna cut that skin off and on both sides. This, and then what I'm gonna do, crack it like that. Crack it like that so it stabilizes. I'm gonna take my knife and just go right through that bone. Well, try to go right through that bone. But cut right through that, but cut around the bone actually. And then you have the chicken, half the chicken leg quarter. And the same thing on the other side. You can just even use your hand, rip it out. Bam, another chicken leg quarter. And then what I'm gonna do with the wing, I'm gonna twist it off since it's so tender. Same thing with the other wing. And then the breast, I'm gonna feel for the breastbone right there. Cut right along the breastbone and tilt my knife outwards. And there, that is, well, the breast. That's the breast. Take all that skin off, you know, it's a lot of fat. It's 
Same thing with the other side. Go right through. There is the other breast. And then now with this carcass and all these other bones, I'm gonna use my hand, shred, shred all the meat and take the bones out. So be a, uh, now I have my chicken bones. I'm gonna toss that into the soup and let that stew for an another five seconds, five minutes. So I have my pan heated up on a medium high and then I have all these Vietnamese spices. I'm gonna toast these. A recipe will, measurements will be in the description. This is good. I'm gonna toast this to bring out all the natural flavors. This is gonna toast for about two to three minutes. Okay, so now my spices are toasted. All I'm gonna do, spice, bam. That goes in for another 30 minutes. Now my broth is complete. Now, since it all is done, I'm gonna add one clump of rock sugar. Put that in. I'm gonna add a little bit of fish sauce. Help flavor the broth. And I'm gonna add a little tiny pinch of salt. And then bring that back to a boil. And then I'll show you how to serve. And my pho is done. And then to prepare, I'm gonna put a couple slices of shredded chicken. I'm gonna put some shredded sawtooth or cilantro. Shred that up. And then some bean sprouts. They add a nice crunch. Then I have mint leaves here. But you can you can use Thai basil. I couldn't find any Thai basil at my store, so I just use some mint. Then bring the broth to a boil. Just scoop it and serve. Don't forget the noodles too. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you you can squeeze a little lime, put poison or sriracha, and then enjoy.